morning everybody and welcome back into another video where today we're going to be taking a look at um, my brick heads. Um, so these were a load of custom brick heads that I, to be honest, had mostly forgotten about. I was looking through some files the other day, I was tidying some things up and I saw these guys and was like, hey, I've never covered these on the channel. Let's see how bad my mockability was from five years ago because these um, obviously were made around the launcher studio and around the time that Brickheads first came out when there wasn't really any precedence for what would be and what wouldn't be a Brickhead. But uh, I'm not going to ramble for too long today. I want to get in and show them to you. So let us get straight on in and I will show you them. And um, here we are with my digital brick heads. We're going to do them one at a time and we're just going to go through fairly quickly, fairly casually. I haven't built brick heads in about four years or at least not digitally in studios. So um, these guys are based off pretty much that first year. So um, they're a bit out of date and their styling's a bit bad. I was still learning how to build um, digitally at this point And this is right when studio launched really back in 2017. I cannot believe it's been five years. But anyway, this is Smog from Lord of the Rings or should I more say The Hobbit. Um, he don't look great in brickhead form they hadn't done the the firstborn dragon back when i did this or buckbeak or any of the animals so i made smog bipedal and that was a mistake but um, you do have the little chink in his armor as well as some teeth his eyes and then lots and lots of horns on his head and some bits down the back he's also got a pair of wings made very badly with some cones like i'm really not sure what i was thinking but if we move on to the next one, we have actually a mod, and this is a mod of um, Beauty and the Beast Brickhead, so specifically the Beast, and this is made entirely using the Beast's pieces, uh, but the idea being that you could rearrange them all to create Adam, or Prince Adam, which is the human version of the Beast from the Beauty and the Beast, which is kind of cool, he's got a weird mouth and the rest of it but but the point <laughs> that's besides the point uh the point is that it's a cool alternate build where you can still build uh the correct prince from the beauty and the beast movie but there's really not much to say here so i'm going to move on to another custom pair where we have link and girahim and these guys were never finished but again they were very early on so they sort of look atrocious so girahim over here is in a mix between his phase one and phase two appearance because for some reason his arms have got the black diamonds on the side he's got the gray and the little sash and his little cape that goes up around the back of his head he's also got eyes his little earrings on some very pointy ears and and such but he definitely doesn't look anywhere near as good as um, the version I built the other day which was someone else's design I cannot quite remember off the top of my head and then we've got this atrocity over here which is um, stink and um, he looks awful he really really does the hat does not work, it is not solid, and his fringe is coming out the front. So um, my Brickhead game was like off in 2017. I, I really could not build apparently, because these guys genuinely look awful. And our next one is actually not a design by me, but a design by Custom Brick Heads. I believe that is their username. However, I have uh, modified it slightly to change out the eyes and just a couple other little bits that I thought were a bit a little squiff. And um, I've actually built this guy in real life. He's super, super cute. I really, really love him. And I would love to see an official Lego gingerbread brick head because this guy is so, so cute. Even then, you could change out the little little buttons for um, the little candy swirls and stuff. But um, he's a really solid design that I'm really prou proud of. Well, not that I should be because he's not mine. But um, I still really, really like having him here. And then we move into two alternates. Um, I have some explaining to do, I think. Uh, this is a cross between the Captain Jack Sparrow Brickhead and the Beast Brickhead. I'm just going to zoom in on the Beast's bandana over here. And then I think we're going to move straight on to um, just some generic people that I did. I think this is when I was still experimenting with how they work and you can very much tell that because of how voluminous the hair is in all the wrong ways. However, the other guys and the guys from the front actually aren't too bad. This guy has um, a receding hairline very clearly, um, but they've got some nice colors. Um, just, just just some experimentation really, there's, not, there's nothing else to it. And then probably my best, and actually my first as well, is my Blockhead Vision from um, Marvel. And actually, he kind of looks cool still. I kind of like this guy. Um, he's got a cape around the back, which was, again, this was 2017, so they are built atrociously. He's got, like, the muscle definition on his torso. He's got his um, forehead gem, as well as all the colors wrapping around. You've got the big uh, two-by-two -two dishes on the side. He's got his colored legs. He, he genuinely looks quite nice. I'm quite a fan of this one actually, I think he looks really cool. Um, 
Yeah, no. This has been a surprise. This is probably my best one still. And this was like my first one as well. So that's sort of insane, really. And then um, just before we get to the end of this segment, I wanted to show off this. This is a little uh, mechanism thing I came up with to make your brick head into a bobble head. So you just remove the core of the pieces and you sit it between the neck and the head. You still got the brain up here. And they do a little wobble knobble. And um, it's kind of cool. I like the way how simple it is, but also that it still works. And um, that's a really nice addition. So I just kept this file here to remember how to build my little bobble head. And then lastly, the most complex of all of this was actually a contrast entry I did for Lego Ideas back in the day. And I'm struggling. I really am struggling to remember what on earth it is. So obviously you've got some representation here. You've got this guy who's colonizing something, I guess. He's, he's doing the kneeling thing. He's climbed up a mountain around clouds, which, by the way, this isn't actually a bad snot technique, considering this would have been, what, 2018, 2019. He's got some Lego peoples on the floor. He's got a book and some stuff he's got an actual better hairline which is an improvement you can definitely tell this one was done later although that's hideous side of the head there not good um he's got some explosion coming out the side of his head and um up top you've got this aspiration cloud like person b person do person succeed i think maybe i uh, no, it's it's very hard to remember my three years self aims with this <laughs> he's um got a plaid shirt on that's kind of cool. Yeah, at least that's what I think this is. I'm going to say, yep, yeah, that looks like a shirt to me. And he's also got an evil head around the back. So he's clearly got some issues. Probably needs to work those out. This face does not look great. <laughs> um, but no, that is every brickhead that I've ever made and own. Um, I think the Vision one's the best by far. Giriham kind of sucks more than I remember. But apart from that, I think that is going to do it for today. Let me know your favourite LEGO official Brickhead, and I hope someone enjoyed taking a look at my very random Brickhead collection. I've been very inconsistent with my uh, buying of Brickheads, so um, I think it's a, it's a bit interesting. I and just to end off that nice little look at all the digital brick heads, I thought I'd quickly show you my real brick head collection. It's, it's, a, it's a nice fun part of um, my collection, so um, we'll just go through them really, really quickly. So um, we've got some Series 1 ones back from oh, 2017. I remember getting these guys um, when they first released on discount, 50% um, off for the Beast. And we've got Bell and the Beast from Beauty and the Beast from the Brickhead Series 1. I miss them not doing that. I feel like it should have been something they continued. But we've got those two, which are really, really cool. We've got the Owen and Blue ones, which again, picked up for a discount. I love um, Blue. Blue is just so cute in Brickhead's one with his little, little teeth and his little thing. Really nice build as well. Really love the, the way they did the stomach there, but really, really nice. Um, Owen looks good as well. Strange, I don't actually have a figure as well. I mean, nice Mario, basically. <laughs> um, then... I've also got uh, Harry and Hedwig, which was another pair set. That looks really good. Kind of want to get the Voldemort and Bellatrix ones as well to go with them. Love the little scar. I use these glasses on another mock. They're really, really cool. And Hedwig looks nice. I like these smaller ones, little, little dumpy legs. <laughs> and um, then we've got some seasonal ones. We've got the B, uh, the Valentine's B, back from this was the first wave of seasonal ones. Then the bunny from the first year of seasonal ones as well, which looks really nice. Another Easter one was uh, the chick. The chick was the second year of seasonal brickheads, just like the ghost, which was the second year for Halloween. And actually, I also have the second year of Christmas ones as well. So if I bring down the reindeer, which was another of the Christmas brickheads. Uh, this one was from the second year of seasonal brickheads. And we've also got Elf and Elfie, and these were the first Brickheads three pack. Obviously, we've had quite a few since then, but I really like the way these guys look. This Elf looks way too stylish for his own good, <laughs> um, but really nice. I love the reindeer. You guys know I love Lego reindeers by now. And then around the back, we've got a couple of solo ones. We've got Jack Sparrow from the first wave. I mean, we saw a variation of him today. Um, what was it? Captain Smack Sparrow or something. Uh, Frankenstein, which was a recent pickup really really like him i wish they did more classic monsters actually and then um batman as well from the first series so quite a lot of the original lineup but uh, they are expensive for what they are but they're nice and cute i do love them as the lego version of funko in a sense and um i'm really pleased with my collection so i hope you enjoyed this video and obviously the online section that we did at the beginning 
and that this gives you some more insight into all of my studio builds. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.